Hello, my name is Brandon Arts and I'm a Solutions Architect for ESET North America. I'm also the developer of the ESET Remote Administrator plugin for Kaseya. In this video, I'll be giving a brief overview of the Kaseya plugin. The install process for the plugin is pretty straightforward. You can download the installer from our website and install it directly on your Kaseya VSA server. Once the install has completed, you must reapply your database schema so Kaseya can create the necessary database structure for the plugin to function. After install, the next step is to log in to the Kaseya VSA server. You'll find the ESET plugin under ESET Endpoint Solutions in the navigation tree. The plugin does rely on being able to connect to one or more ERA servers to fetch data about your ESET clients. Let's look at this configuration now. As you can see, I already have my ERA server defined. If I click on the server, we can view some details about this connection. The host name or IP address should be resolvable to all of your ESET clients. This configuration option is not only used for the connection from the plugin to the ERA server, it's also used during deployment so your ESET clients know where to connect. The ERA version of this server is version 6. We also support version 5.3. The refresh interval is set to the default, which is 5 minutes. Refresh interval is important because the plugin must connect to the ESET server to fetch updated data about your clients. From, he from here, we can also view license usage. Clients that are currently connected to the ERA server and also have a Kaseya agent on them. And finally, rogue clients, or clients that are connected to the ERA server, but are not currently matched up to any Kaseya agent. Let's talk now about the client view. The client view is the main area for viewing information about ESET status for all of your Kaseya agents. This view is also the place to go for performing non-automated operations on your ESET clients. From here, you can see if there are any protection status or product issues, create on-demand tasks such as scans or virus signature updates, assign or remove policies on a per-machine basis, and even deploy ESET to your Kaseya agents. Clicking on a machine, we can view various details about the machine. Here you can see some general information about this machine. You can see information about threats that have been detected, scans that have been performed, ESET task executions, and assigned ESET policies. If you want to view additional details about threats detected, scans, and tasks that have been performed, you can use the other log views to see this information. Clicking on the threat log, you can see that I have a number of threats detected on various machines. By selecting a specific instance, we can view additional details about each threat. If you prefer a more graphical approach, this log information can also be used to create various graphs on the plugin dashboard. On the dashboard, you add pages, which can be named however you wish. Each dashboard page can contain up to four graphs. The graphs are capable of displaying information about client status, threats, and scans. I had mentioned earlier about being able to deploy ESET to your Kaseya machines via the clients view. To do this, we must first define one or more deployment packages. At the deployment packages page, click new. Provide a friendly name for the deployment package and choose your ERA server that you wish for these clients to connect to. This is why it's important to use a publicly resolvable connection address when connecting the plugin to your ERA server. Next, choose the product that you'd like to install. You can either choose Endpoint Antivirus or Endpoint Security. If the machine is detected as running a Windows Server OS, it will automatically install ESET file security for Windows. If you wish to install a specific ESET MSI, you can also choose Custom Deployment Package and provide your installers. Next, choose the license that you wish to use. 
Finally, if you're using ERA version 6, you must specify your agent certificate and passphrase if your certificate is set to use one. For assigning ESET policies, you have a couple of options. You can either assign allowed policies via the client view to one machine at a time, or you can use the policy section of the plugin. In the policy section, you can see all of the available policies on your ERA server. From here, you can create new policies or add existing policies. If you click a policy, you can assign it directly from here, or you can choose to allow assignment from the client view. Clicking Assign Policy pops up a window with a filterable list of your Kaseya agents that have ESET. Choose the clients that you wish to assign the policy to and click Save. If you wish to assign the policy to all of your clients, you can click the Select All checkbox. Currently, the plugin supports some limited automation and notification via the Notification section. Notifications examine the status of your ESET clients, threats detected and scans performed, and allows you to perform actions based on this data. Notifications examine the status of your ESET clients, threats detected and scans performed, and allow you to perform actions based on this data. Actions include creating ESET tasks such as scans or updates, creating Kaseya alarms which show up under the monitor module in the VSA, sending emails, and also running agent procedures. As you can see, I currently have a notification defined that creates an on-demand scan of the machine whenever a threat is detected. One last feature that I want to mention, but I will not be going into on this video, is the ability to create reports in the Kaseya Info Center. The ESET plugin makes report parts available for reporting about client status, threats, scans, and ESET license information. This concludes my overview of the ESET plugin for Kaseya. In the future, we'll continue to expand the functionality of the plugin based on feedback that we receive from our users. If you're a current user or a new user of the plugin, please feel free to use the Send Feedback button located on several of the pages of the plugin to send your ideas directly to me. Thank you. Bye.